Hello, welcome to my channel subscribe or like if you like it. Today we are going to talk about the medicine Paroxicam, we will explain its mechanism of action, its side effects, its dosage, its uses, its contraindications, its warnings, pregnancy and indications. The brand names of Paroxicam are, Feldine, Feldine Fliz, Fasicum, Axtrim. What is Paroxicam? Paroxicam is a drug commonly used to combat joint pain and inflammation. Mechanism of action of Paroxicam Inhibits prostaglandin synthesis. What is Paroxicam used for? The therapeutic indications of Paroxicam are Symptomatic relief of osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis and ankylosing spondylitis. Due to its safety profile. It is not a first-line option in the indication of a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. Pathology of Paroxicam Oral, rectal, intramuscular route. Adults, 20 mg per day. Review in 14 days the benefit and tolerability of the treatment. Contraindications of Paroxicam History of ulceration, bleeding or gastrointestinal perforation. History of gastrointestinal disorders predisposing to bleeding disorders such as ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, gastrointestinal cancers or diverticulitis. Active peptic ulcer, gastrointestinal inflammatory disorder or gastrointestinal bleeding. Concomitant use with other NSAIDs, including selective COX-2 inhibitors and ASA at analgesic doses, and with anticoagulants. History of severe drug allergy especially skin reactions such as erythema multiforme, Stevens-Johnson syndrome or toxic epidermal necrolysis. Hypersensitivity and history of skin reactions to paroxicam, NSAIDs or other drugs. Severe heart failure. Severe hepatic dysfunction. Severe renal dysfunction. Hemorrhagic diathesis or other coagulation of disorders. Pregnancy, third trimester. Warnings and precautions with paroxicam. Patients with risk factors for serious gastrointestinal events, AHT, CHF, established coronary artery disease, uncontrolled peripheral artery disease or cerebrovascular disease, and long-term treatment in patients with known cardiovascular risk factors, assess benefit risk ratio. Elderly. Increased risk of gastrointestinal complications, avoid in patients over 80 years of age. Increased risk of severe skin reactions, especially at the beginning of treatment, compared to other NSAIDs, not oxychem, if skin rash, mucosal lesions or any other sign of hypersensitivity appear, discontinue treatment, as well as in case of significant increases in SCIT and SGPT. Caution in asthmatics in whom exposure and tolerance to ASA or NSAIDs is unknown, allergic reactions may occur, mild renal insufficiency, mild hepatic insufficiency. Not recommended in children, lack of studies. Hepatic insufficiency and paroxicam. Contraindicated in severe hepatic insufficiency. Caution in mild to moderate hepatic insufficiency although no differences in the pharmacokinetic profile are observed. Renal insufficiency and paroxicam. Contraindicated in severe renal insufficiency. Caution in mild to moderate renal insufficiency, reduce initial dose. Interactions with paroxicam. Risk of gastrointestinal ulceration or bleeding increased by corticosteroids. Risk of gastrointestinal bleeding increased by SSRIs, antiplatelet agents. Potentiates effect of anticoagulants such as warfarin. Increases plasma levels of lithium. Potentiates hypoglycemic effect of sulfonylureas. Increases toxicity of methotrexate administered at doses of 15 mg per week or higher. Increases levels of methotrexate administered at doses lower than 15 mg per week. Closely monitor blood values. Increases the risk of nephrotoxicity of cyclosporin, dacrolimus. Reduces the efficacy of ACHA, ARA2, sharp S blockers, diuretics. Increases risk of hemorrhage with thrombolytics. Pregnancy and paroxicam. Inhibition of prostaglandin synthesis may adversely affect gestation or development of the fetal embryo. 
Data from epidemiological studies suggest an increased risk of miscarriage and of cardiac malformations and gastrochysis following the use of a prostaglandin synthesis inhibitor in early gestation. The absolute risk of cardiac malformations increased from less than 1% to approximately 1.5%. During the first and second trimesters of gestation, it should not be administered unless considered strictly necessary. During the third trimester of gestation, it may expose the fetus to cardiopulmonary toxicity, with premature closure of the ductus arteriosus and pulmonary hypertension, renal dysfunction, which may progress to renal failure with oligohydroamniosis, possible prolongation of bleeding time, due to an antiaggregant type effect that may occur even at very low doses, inhibition of uterine contractions, which may result in delayed or prolonged labor. Consequently, it is contraindicated during the third trimester of pregnancy. Lactation and pyroxicam. The use of pyroxicam is not recommended during the lactation period because this drug passes into breast milk in concentrations close to 1% of those reached in maternal blood and may produce adverse effects in the infant. Effects on the ability to drive with pyroxicam. Since central nervous system disorders such as drowsiness or dizziness may occur during treatment, the ability to drive a vehicle or operate machines may be impaired in individual cases. Side effects and adverse reactions of paroxicam, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, flatulence, constipation, dyspepsia, gastritis, abdominal pain, epigastric discomfort, abdominal discomfort, melina, hematemesis, ulcerative stomatitis, exacerbation of ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease, anorexia, insomnia, headaches, edema, hypertension and heart failure.